I'm Harrison Brown and I'm an adventure cyclist. I'm going to be biking by myself over 6,000 miles from Fairbanks, Alaska all the way to Key West, Florida. Every day on the road is an adventure. Let's start pedaling because the adventure begins right now. Here I am at the Miami Amtrak station and I'm about to head on a five day journey to get back to Los Angeles. Jim the Rambler is boxed up, it's in the baggage check, so it's a lot of my sleeping bag, my tent, all that stuff is locked up. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but in a few short hours I'll be hitting the polar vortex of winter and then head back through Los Angeles. So I'm starting right here in Miami, I'm going up to DC, I'm transferring, and then I will go to Chicago, I will transfer, and then take the Southwest Chief all the way into Los Angeles. It's gonna be a long journey, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so here we go, let's go training into the world. Amtrak would take me up the eastern coast and by the next morning I would arrive in our nation's capital, Washington DC. So right now my train has an 8 over layover right here in Washington DC. So you know what that means, field trip! <laughs> So right behind me is Ford's Theater. Now this is famous because this is the location where Abraham Lincoln gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Right behind me is Lincoln's Waffle Shop. This is the exact same waffle shop that Lincoln used to walk five miles every day uh, through the snow, through the rain to get to this waffle shop to eat uh, waffles. Right behind me is the White House, home to the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Now just a block down the street, just down Pennsylvania Avenue, I saw a homeless man sleeping in front of a doorway. America, the greatest country ever. Right behind me is the Washington Monument for George Washington. Now not only was he our first president, he also owned slaves. America, we've been hiding our secrets since 1776. I'm just outside the United States Capitol. This was once known as a house of compromise. Now it's known as a house of divide. Divide between left and the right. Never compromising to come up with a solution. It's about people who work here are more concerned about being right than helping the American people. Yeah, I'm ready to go get a burger. Let's go get a burger. After my field trip in Washington, D.C., I would spend the night on the train making my way to the sausage capital of the world, Chicago. So I'm here in Chicago, I got a few hours to kill, so let's take a field trip! cold weather of Chicago, the field trip was pretty short, which meant it was time to hop on the Southwest Chief and start making my way to Los Angeles. So I'm in La Junta, Colorado right now. This is actually the exact same railroad station that my grandfather worked at. They lived just down the road in Rocky Fork, Colorado, and he worked right here for the, the railroad company, right here. And pretty soon we're gonna be driving, well not driving, we're gonna be riding past on the train through a small old town called Tempest, and that's actually where my great-grandparents had a homestead right here in the, in the plains of eastern, southeastern Colorado. So let's get back on the train and get training into the world. Is it a safety zone or a way of seeing through? At the station I only have loose change I'll be waiting for greener times A way out of this How far? How far? How far? Can this dream end go?
the sky if you can't break away Ten thousand tracks all divided in a town So after 8,700 miles, I've arrived right back here in Los Angeles, California at Union Station. Almost eight months to the day. I left on May 15th. I've now arrived on January 14th right here back in Los Angeles. It's been a long journey, and this journey is slowly coming to an end. But that doesn't mean the overall journey doesn't keep on going. The roads are going to keep going. I'm going to keep on going. And who knows where those roads are going to lead me. So until the next time, keep on biking into the world. Oh!